Good morning, everyone. I'm at the Jules Stein Eye Institute at UCLA. Um, don't get scared. I'm not going blind. I just have a little bump on the inside of my eyelid. It's probably caused by the clamps they used on my eyelids during my eye surgery. But um, I'm finally going to get it removed. I made an appointment about six months ago, because that's how long it takes to get an appointment here. This is where I had my eyeball surgery, by the way. Jules Stein was uh, a doctor and a musician. Does that make us feel horrible about ourselves yet? And he created MCA, which was like the Ur talent agency in Hollywood. Um, the Lou Wasserman guy, the Lou Wasserman's predecessor or whatever. But um, I don't know if Jules Stein had eye problems. I do know he wore those big, giant uh, Swifty Lazar, Carol Channing kind of glasses. But he had so much money that he could build this giant building here and call it the Jules Stein Eye Institute. And then over there is the Doris Stein Eye Annex, I suppose. But anyway, I made this appointment about six months ago, and I got a call last week uh, saying we, we have to re reschedule your appointment because uh, the doctor had a death in his family and I was like I'm very sorry about the death but uh, I made this appointment six months ago so what's going on when can I give my appointment rescheduled and she said October and I said R -r 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 really and she said, okay, uh, June 6th at 7.30 a.m. or October. So I took this one, only I didn't have anybody that I felt comfortable enough driving me here at 6.30. Obviously, my husband has to stay home with our kids. Um, so I just got a car service to bring me. And it, something very strange about having a car service drop you off to get surgery. Um, but th these are the kind of things that you do when you are a parent. You have to tag team. And I don't have any friends that wake up early that aren't parents. So I felt like I shouldn't put upon them to ask them to take me here. Um, although one friend did offer. He's probably going to watch this video, so I have to say. But I've, uh, I have to say, I did have a friend offer. Um, but I didn't take him up on that. Steve, uh, A.G., when you talked about the gas station um, guy, the guy with the gloves at the gas station, I've seen that guy before. Uh, but I did not stick around for the show too much. I just saw the, the ending, the stripping of the gloves, and I didn't know what he'd been doing. Um, I missed the first part. But I really enjoyed uh, imagining you standing there staring at him agape. That was the funny part of the whole story to me. I guess I should watch everybody's videos that they've posted since then. I haven't watched any uh, other ones. All right. Wish me luck. Um, it's just a bump. Bye.